Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am doing practice questions on CPT. Here I will explain you uh, about 5 questions from integumentary system chapter. I have already done a video on integumentary system. So today I will do questions on all the important topics of integumentary system uh, like excision, repair, destruction, shaving, biopsy, more surgery, ATT, etc. So I will do uh, two questions, two videos on integumentary system questions so that it will be clear for you people. So moving on to the questions, the first question is what code would be used to code the destruction of a malignant lesion on the genitalia measuring 2.6 cm using cryosurgery and the options are given. So whenever you get a question on CPT, the first thing that you have to note is what treatment method is done. Then you will understand to which series you have to go. Okay, so the treatment that given here is destruction and the method of destruction is also given that is by using cryosurgery destruction using cryosurgery okay so when you get a question on destruction the what are the points that you have to note if you don't have any idea go and watch my video on destruction okay so when you get a code uh, question on destruction the things that you have to notice identify whether the lesion is a premalignant lesion a malignant lesion or a benign lesion that is the first thing that you have to note okay so given that here it is a malignant lesion then once that is confirmed then next things you have to note is identify the site identify the body group identify the diameter the site is given here as genitalia the diameter is given as 2.6 cm now open your cpt textbook and find out the genitalia comes under which body group under the destruction of a malignant lesion so when you take book you can see uh, under destruction malignant lesion you have different uh, group body groups like 17260 comes for body groups which include trunk arms or legs then 17270 scalp neck hand feet genitalia then 17280 face ears eyelid nose lips mucous membrane etc okay so genitalia comes under the body group of scalp neck hand feet genitalia okay then in that that body group you have to uh, search for the diameter 2.6 cm 2.6 cm means it comes in lesion diameter 2.1 cm that is the code is 17273 you can answer these questions only if you have your textbook open with you okay so the answer is 17273a moving on to the second question a 52 year old male was present to the emergency room with multiple laceration from a bike accident the physician evaluates him and determines that he has a 2.5 cm gash to his chest and a 4 cm gash on his abdomen both which required layered closure he also had a simple 3 cm laceration on his forehead that requires simple closure what are the correct codes for the laceration repair so when we get a CPT question, what you have to look first? What are the treatment procedure that you have uh, that is done there? Okay, here what is done? Repair, repair or closure or suture. That is what done. Now, when you get a question on repair, the first thing that you have to notice identify the type of repair. Here in total, there are three repairs of which one is simple repair and the remaining two are layered closure which means intermediate repair okay one simple repair as well as two intermediate repair now identify the site the simple repair site is forehead and the intermediate repair site is chest and abdomen okay then go for the diameter the simple repair on forehead is of 3 cm and the intermediate repair on chest it is 2.5 cm and on abdomen it is 4 cm since chest and abdomen comes in the same anatomic group, you can add the 2.5 and 4 cm. So, the total is 6.5 cm of intermediate repair. Okay. Now, you get one simple closure on the forehead 3 cm and 
uh, intermediate closure of 6.5 centimeter we added the two okay now you go to the uh, open your textbook and see the repair section from there the simple repair and intermediate repair section identify if it comes in which group which body group and you will get the codes as 12013 and 12032 okay one for simple repair and one for intermediate repair now which you have to put first you have to put the more complicated one right here the more complicated one is intermediate repair and also since we have done two different repairs you have to put the modifier modifier 59 since they are two distinct procedures okay so the answer is b uh, you can also identify the answer uh, from the options itself like uh, there are the A and B, A and D options have right and left procedures. Here there is no right and left procedure. So you can eliminate A and D. And the C option include complex repair code. Here there is no complex repair code. So you can eliminate C and the answer is B. The third question. Kate had a previous biopsy that indicated positive margins anteriorly on the right side of her neck. A 0.5 cm margin was drawn out and a 15 uh, blade scalpel was used for full excision of an 8 cm lesion. Light undermining of all margin was performed along with layered closure. Identify the CPT codes. So here it is given uh, what are the two procedures that is done here is excision as well as closure. Okay, so uh, what what type of closure layered closure layered closure means intermediate closure okay when an excision and an intermediate closure comes together you have to code for both excision as well as intermediate closure that is a guideline okay when an excision and simple closure comes together means code for only excision but in if here it is the case is intermediate closure so you have to code for both both excision as well as the intermediate closure so, two codes will be there. So, the option A and B is surely not the answer. Now, let's move on to the question. Here, it is given that it is a positive margin, which means it is a malignant condition, malignant lesion. Okay. So, for excision, the, how to pick a code? What all are the points to be remembered? First, identify if it is a benign or malignant lesion. Since here, it is given as a positive margin, it is clearly a malignant lesion. Next, the same for all other questions, identify the side body group as well as the diameter. Okay, the side given here is neck. The diameter given here is 8 cm plus a 0.5 cm margin, 8.5 cm. And identify the body group from the CPT book. So, the body side, neck, neck comes under the body group, scalp, neck, hand, feet, genitalia, 11620 CD. There the margin is 8.5 cm which means the code is 11626 excise diameter over 4 cm. Okay, so that is the code for excision 11626. Now you have to take the code for intermediate closure or intermediate repair. There also you have to identify how to pick code. You have to identify side body group as well as diameter. So side is neck, then the body group, check in the book which it comes under the which body group and the diameter is same 8.5 then you will get the code 12044 okay here since two different procedures are performed on the same side you have to give modifier 51 so the answer is c the fourth question a 53 year old male was in for removal of two lesions located on his nose and lower lip. Lesions were identified and marked. Utilizing a 3 mm punch, a biopsy was taken of the left supratip nasal area. The lower lip lesion of 4 mm in size was shaped to the level of the superficial dermis. What are the codes for these procedures? So, what are the procedures done here? Two procedures, right? They have two lesions and two procedures, two different procedures are performed, which is a punch biopsy as well as a shaving. Okay. 
So if you are thorough with modifiers, you can eliminate the options without modifiers like A and C right here itself. Okay. Why? Because two different procedures are performed on two different sides. Okay. Now moving on to the codes. First is the first procedure is the punch biopsy, biopsy code. So when you come to biopsy code, how to pick code? What are the steps to note? First identify the type of biopsy, then identify the number of lesions. Okay. So the type of biopsy here is punch biopsy. Number of lesion is a single lesion. Go to punch biopsy, punch biopsy of skin single lesion and the code is 11104. And the second one is shaving. For shaving, you have to identify the site. What, what is the site? The site is lower lip. Then here, how to pick the code, identify the site, then identify the body group and diameter. Uh, as we have discussed in all previous questions, the same method you have to follow. Okay, and you will get the code as 11310. Okay, then you have to give modifier 59 because two distinct procedures uh, and they are done on two. Multiple procedures are performed, so modifier 51 also have to be given and your answer is B. Last question. Most surgery is performed on Henry's right thigh for an ill-defined skin cancer. Doctor is acting as both the surgeon and pathologist for this surgery. The surgery consisted of 9 exercise specimens prepared and examined during stage 1. Additionally, a total of 7 exercise specimens were prepared and examined during stage 2. How would you code doctor's service? So, the question here is more surgery. In most surgery, the first thing that you have to note is the side. The side given here is thigh. Okay. Then the second one is how many stages are there? In total, they have said about two stages. Stage 1 and as well as stage 2. Then the third thing that you have to notice how many specimen or tissue blocks are given in each stage. In stage 1, they have uh, taken a total of 9 specimen or 9 tissue blocks and stage 2, they have taken 7 specimen or 7 tissue blocks. Okay, so please note stage 1 hyphen 9 specimen in bracket give it as 5 plus 4. Why you are splitting? Because in each stage, while taking code in each stage, the maximum of 5 tissue blocks is included in one stage, right? All the remaining as, is given as additional. Okay, so 5 plus 4. And for stage 2, you have to give it as 5 plus 2. Okay, now go come to the code in your book. More surgery performed on thigh. Which means your codes will be in series of 17313, most micrographic technique of trunk, arms, or legs. First stage up to 5 tissue blocks. For, so for stage 1 up to 5 tissue blocks, you have the code 17313. Okay, you have 4 more tissue blocks remaining in stage 1. Okay, then 17314 for each additional stage after first stage up to 5 tissue blocks. Okay, for stage 2, up to 5 tissue blocks, you have 17314. And there also you have 2 remaining. So, in stage 1, you have 4 remaining. In stage 2, you have 2 remaining. So, total you have 6 remaining tissue blocks to code. For that, you have to give 17315. Most micrographic technique, each additional block after the first 5 tissue blocks in each stage. So, since here you have five, uh, sorry, six additional tissue blocks, you have to give it as 17315 into 6. So, your codes are 17313, 17314, 17315 into 6. So, the answer is. So, I guess I have explained all the five questions in detail itself. Uh, I'll be doing five more questions so that the integumentary system part will be very clear for you. Thank you.